Hi there and welcome back to another video. So I've recently gone onto YouTube and typed in how to film a cinematic video by just using your phone. And most of the videos that popped up, they used a flagship phone. So that'll be like Samsung or iPhone. And that means that the camera on the phone is really good. But what if you have a crappy phone like this one? Uh, I believe this one was around $140 and the camera on this is really, really terrible. So the reason for making this video is because I've heard a lot of excuses from people that wants to make videos, but they say they don't have the right camera, they don't have microphones or lights or even editing software to edit all the videos. So I'm going to show you how to make a cinematic video by using just the phone, no extra camera gear. So the very first thing I would suggest you to do is go into your camera app, go to your settings, and then look for an option that says composition. This is use features like level and grid to compose your photos, betas, or your videos. Then just click on video and click on grid. So if I go back now into the camera again, you will see these grid lines that run like this. Now this will just help you to frame your shot. So if you want your subject or the person you're shooting to be in the middle of the frame, then you can keep them in between these two middle lines. Or if you want them to the left or to the right, this is just a guide to help you to keep them in frame where you want them. And this is really, really helpful. Next thing you should try and do is try to find the weak spot of your phone camera. So for this phone, if I film and I move too quick, then the video will be very laggy. So a solution for that is to make small and smooth motions and also very, very slow. And then the video should be fine. But if I do quick movements like this, then the footage is not usable and it looks really, really bad. Another thing you should try is go back into camera settings scroll down and try to find video resolution. Click on it and then choose the best option. So I've got 720p and 1080p. Now mine is already set to 1080p, so that's perfect. Go back and then there's another option, video encoding. Uh, you might have a few options here. I only have two, it's high efficiency and best compatibility. So I've chosen best compatibility so that it works with any device when you download the video. Then you can go back and we are ready to shoot. If you're wondering why I have a different shirt on, it's because most of the stuff I filmed last night and I just had to wait for daylight so I can film with the phone. Now I'm here, there's like this nice building here. This used to be a gym and a swimming pool. I'll show you guys in a second. It's just if I have the camera facing that way, it's really overexposed because I'm in the shadows. So a few things to keep in mind when filming with a phone or even a camera is don't do those boring shots where like a tourist, like where it's just eye level and you film everything you see. That's boring. Try and make it a little bit interesting for the viewer. So get different camera angles, get close-ups, get wide angles, just different stuff so that you can tell your story that you're trying to tell or just a video that you're trying to show. I'm going to use this building as my main subject. So I'll get a few wide shots, then I'll get close-up shots of the different statues there's a bunch of like small zebra statues in the front that i'll also get close-ups of uh, use the surroundings so you can also use uh, the plants maybe some birds get some shots of them all right so i'm going to start off with the statue behind me here make sure your phone is charged and you have enough memory space on your phone to take all the videos
So another thing you can do is put some foreground into your shots to give the video a bit of depth. Now, if you don't have anything and it's like an open space like this, you can just take like a branch, twig, you can take anything and just shoot through that object and it'll give you some foreground to work with. All right, so I am using Adobe Program, so Premiere Pro and After Effects. Now you can use a free editing software, but you will most likely get a watermark when you export your video. So I'm just going to stick with this one that I have, and then I'll show you how I edit the footage to look nice and cinematic. First up, let's get the clip. I've already selected one here, so I'll just drag and drop that in. Now I want to get rid of the audio file. So I'm just going to right click, unlink, and then I can delete the audio file. Now, if I play this back, then it is pretty shaky, but not too much. So the first thing I will do is stabilize it. I'm going to jump into After Effects, going to right click and replace with After Effects composition. Then it will open After Effects like this in the right tab by it is called effects and presets just type in warp stabilizer it should pop up right over there drag it onto your clip and the shakiness isn't too much so i'm going to choose six percent all right so it is finished now i'm going to go back into premiere pro and then just play it again all right that looks pretty decent another thing i'm going to do is i'm going to slow down the playback time. So I'm going to right click, just say time remapping speed, and then bring it down to about 90%. And then I'm also going to just choose optical flow. All right, there we go. That looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to choose my points from where I want it to play. I think about here is good up until around there. There we go, that looks pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is just adjust the color a bit. I can't do too much because the file is from the phone camera, but we can do a little bit. Okay, and now another thing I do is just a small thing I do to kind of make it look cinematic is to add those crop bars that you get on the top and the bottom now to do that just click on new item adjustment layer click ok and then drag the adjustment layer on top of your clip then you want to go into effects type in crop drag your crop onto your adjustment layer and then I do usually about 8% on the top and 8% on the bottom, just like that. So then you can click on your video file and you can just adjust it and reframe it like this. So I'm going to choose right about there. Okay, and then that is basically what I'm going to do with the rest of the clips as well. So I'm not going to go through each and every one. That will take a little bit too long. scene like this one and only use the built-in mic in the phone. All right, so I'm currently filming from the phone and I'm only using the built-in microphone. Now, I don't have any lights set up. I've only got this big window to my left here for natural sunlight 
And then I also have my TV set to a green screen to kind of give it that nice green fill light because it is an overcast day today, so I don't have that much sunlight to work with. You are hearing the audio from the phone. In post, I'm going to add some D reverb, D noise. I'll add some bass and I'll also tweak the dynamics a bit just to make it sound a little bit better. Now, when it comes to recording audio, make sure anything that makes noise around you is switched off. It can be your fridge, your TV, laptops, lights, anything, switch it off so it's completely quiet. And then also try and record in a small room because if you record in a large open room, you might get that echoey sound. If you learned something new by watching this video or you just enjoyed it, please make sure to hit that like button. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. It will really help me out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.